Good morning everyone. This is Pastor John from Napanee Baptist Church. It's good to see you again. And we have these visits with the pastor mainly just to read the Word of God together and to be encouraged together in God's Word. And so I'm glad you could join me. We are doing a little study in the book of 1 Timothy. If you can turn there to 1 Timothy toward the end of the New Testament, and we're on chapter 4, chapter 4, and that's going to be our reading for today, the entire chapter. So let's just read God's Word together. It says, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, The Spirit clearly says that in later times some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and teach things taught by demons. Such teachings come through hypocritical liars whose consciences have been seared as with a hot iron. Verse 3, they forbid people to marry and order them to abstain from certain foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. Verse 4, for everything God, cre God created is good and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving because it is consecrated by the word of God and prayer. Verse six, verse 6, if you point these things out to the brothers and sisters, you will be a good minister of Christ Jesus, nourished on the truths of the faith and of the good teaching that you have followed. Have nothing to do with godless myths or old wives' tales. Rather, train yourselves to be godly. Verse 8, for physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. This is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. That is why we labor and strive, because we have put our hope in the living God, who is the Savior of all people, and especially of those who believe. Verse 11, command and teach these things. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to preaching and to teaching. Do not neglect your gift, which was given you through prophecy when the body of elders laid their hands on you. Verse 15, be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Well, the verse I'd just like to focus in on uh, as we close, I'd like us just to take a look at a uh, verse 10. It says, That is why we labor and strive, because we have put our hope in the living God. We have put our hope in the living God. And that's what keeps us going. That's what keeps us serving God. And continuing on in the faith as believers and in a time where there is so much hopelessness around us and people during this pandemic are searching for answers they're searching for truth they're searching for hope and they can't find it because they're looking in the wrong places we have put our hope in the living god and may that be your encouragement today keep hoping in him christ is in you the hope of glory. So God bless you. Hope you have a great day. Keep looking to him. Keep being encouraged. And please stay in touch with us. And uh, again, if you'd like to get a hold of me, please contact our website through the uh, webpage. That would be great. Uh, and Or email me or give me a call. I'd uh, love to get in touch. So let's pray and commit our day to him. Father in heaven, we just thank you again for this opportunity to get together in this way and just to read your word and to be encouraged by it. And again, I ask a blessing on each one who's watching and I pray that you'll draw near and that you will provide and that you will meet people where they're at. And 
I pray that everyone who is watching today will right now put their hope in the living God. And we, even those of us who have accepted Christ as our Savior and we're born again and we're uh, in a right standing before God, we still have to put our hope daily in the living God. So Lord, we pray that your Spirit would help us to do that. We pray for our church family. We thank you for this school week. The kids are all back in school now. We thank you for that. We would pray for this weekend and we pray for Sunday that you will be, bring a good number out to the service and that we will worship you the way that we ought to in spirit and in truth and that you would be our, our hope for now and forever. So we just commit ourselves to you in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Monday. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.